Hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine. It is a horrible day as I'm filming this. It is pouring with rain, it is grey. I'm not feeling my best. Got a fluey thing, ache everywhere, sore throat, headache, yes. But I do have a coffee and I'm late to my own party. It is, um, oh, I can't even think what day it is. Yeah, it's towards the 10th of May soon. And yes, I haven't made my tag and I've got to draw for the next prompt on the 10th of May. So I've pulled out, because the prompt is linear, I've pulled out my scraps, my linear scraps, and I'm going to do something with those. So I'm just going to put you on fast forward, I think, while I have a little play. I think I know what I'm doing and we perhaps we'll talk about it at the end. <laughs>
here is my tag and as you can see I've used acetate and it is a little bit bigger than my other tags let me just bring them in just for comparison just to show you bear with yes so this is my old album if I just take one of the tags out you can see it's very much bigger very much bigger yes um i think the dimensions are roughly um four by six and a half and that means i need to make something for it to go in and um i thought i would use acetate my only problem is the um glue that I've used you can see it on the back I mean it's not quite dry I stuck in that this was um, a single-sided strip it was on one of my little uh, inky backgrounds from my scraps by the way <laughs> hardly made any dent in my linear scraps at all they can go back on the windowsill now oh um yes I made hardly any dent at all but um yes I thought I'd I would do this kind of thing so it is linear strips and this has got um, a little line stamp on it and um i found this i love it dose from one half to two teaspoonfuls then this is something that i made ages ago i was doing little strips to go around um this tin actually do you remember when i altered this tin you can see that there around there what have I got in here? I think I've got a nice little thing. Oh, yes, I've got my butterfly wings in here. And um, inches. Some inches. Not not inches from my Glad to be alive last year, which I need to do a collage with still. Oops. Uh, but inches that I've made. Yes, so that is that. Um, do I like it? Well, I, I do quite like it. It was quite relaxing. I would have liked to have done a little bit more detail, you know, shorter bits um, to get more stepping in it. But I quite like that. And um, I like the fact that it appears to be floating and it doesn't look too bad on the back, does it? So I have made a book to put my tags in. Not an album, but a box book, a book box. Yes, and it was a prototype and I'm not entirely happy with it, but it opens out like that. And if you'd like a tutorial on how to make one of these or something similar um, for the tutorial, I might make it a bit smaller. I'm, I'm happy to do that. It's made out of Amazon packaging, three pieces of used construction tape. And because it is, um, it's just over 12 inches, it's 12 and a quarter inches um, from there right, all the way around um i've done pieces of paper which is why i've done the construction tape because i wouldn't have had um paper big enough to cover the packaging if that makes sense and i've done different on the inside to what i've done on the outside i had a bit of a game with this uh, but i know what i did wrong so i know if you know if you want me to do it if you would like me to do a tutorial um i can um make it smaller and i know what i need to do Yes, but it's quite sturdy. I do need to find another way of closing. And maybe I should have made this slightly deeper so that my, my ribbon isn't floating. Uh, but yes, it'd be good to do something. I could have done magnets. I could have, yeah, I could have put magnets there, couldn't I? But I thought it was a faff last time doing pockets um, to match the tag. So I can just simply put my tag in here and put them in the order it means that I can add some dimension should I want to and I'm not restricted so um come back where are we seventh come back on the 10th I think that's Wednesday and I will pull the next prompt do take care everybody and I hope you enjoyed this little short video I hope it's short by the time I've edited it um I'm feeling a bit better now actually after a little bit of gentle crafting um I hope you're all having a lovely bank holiday weekend. Yeah, so back for um, the next prompt draw on the 10th of May. On Tuesday the 9th, it is Secret Diary of a Serial Dieter. And I say this every month, it really is going to be upsy this month because, yeah, I can feel it round my trousers. But that's another story. Bye now.